Hi, I'm Raphael with Chess House. And I'm Paul, an enthusiast. All right. So here we just received the square off chessboard and we're excited to open it up and take a look at what's inside. All right, let's go ahead and open this up. Let's do it. The world's smartest chessboard. All right. Kingdom set edition. Yeah. Packaging. That's nice, it's got a little handle to it. Here, let's turn this around a bit. All right, a good padding in here. Let's see. Yeah, this is good. Nice foam. That's solid. Just protect it all around. Something we always look for around here, right, is that padding. Make sure it gets where it's going in great shape. Power supply. Board looks good. I think we watched a video of them uh, assembling this. Oh, magnetic for the pieces. That's a nice touch. All right. Check this out. Great looking pieces too, aren't they? Yeah, and it has a nice little magnetic snap box, so keeps it uh, keeps it together, looking nice if you're going to store it as well. There we go. Ah, uh, we have been waiting for this day as eagerly as you have been, and uh, I'd say that's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Right, game quick, on. Quick guide here, that's nice. Nicely done. I like the presentation. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, should we get this? Uh... Oh, so it goes with an app. Yeah, that's right. It's, uh, it's Wi-Fi based, so it runs off of a cell phone. And uh, you can connect with anyone all over the world, supposedly, with uh, the app and this unit and uh, whoever you play with doesn't necessarily have to have the same unit to play they just have to have the app okay yeah. there's the power supply looks like it just slides and clicks in what do we have here some worldwide adapters yeah that's nice looks like for europe other locations looks good that means it's uh, definitely the world's smartest game. The, can, the claim is uh, is holding true so far. <laughs> That's great. And this, I'm not quite sure what this is, but I'm sure we'll find out pretty soon. Huh. And we've got the pieces here. Nice. Beautiful carved pieces from India. Yeah, nice. Looks nicely. like we have boxwood and a dark. Almost like a well, rosewood, close, but almost. It's close to a rosewood. Yeah. Okay, let's set up this game. All right, let's call it. It's, it's pretty automated, I understand. Do I really have to set this up? Uh, yes, you do. Okay. <laughs> At least just the first round. Oh, okay. Will it set the piece up? That's it. Uh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, I suppose it may actually uh, automatically reset the entire game after you're done playing. And uh, it'd be a curious test to uh, put all just put the pieces on the board and see if, uh, if it can figure out where everything goes. Although I think it's not uh, it's not uh, auto sensory, and it does come with an extra. Queen. Now this is a smaller version. There's one other version that actually is a little bit wider that has uh, an area for captured pieces, uh, if I understand correctly. And then these just bring the piece to the side when okay. it's captured. And you That's just right. Yeah, there's a few different variations of this one. 
All right, well they say step one is to download the Square Off app and then connect the board. Let's Great. see if... Uh, so Paul just started that moments ago. Let's see, is that ready yet? Yes, yes it is. Looks like we just have six steps here. Download the app. That was pretty quickly. So the first step is uh, sign in with email. So I'll do that. Oh, then we'll connect the board to the charger. That's right. So we have power source. Should I lie about my age? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've got to be kidding me. It what? must have batteries inside it. Oh, okay. How great okay. is that? But they still, it looks like they still want you to charge it, right? I'm sure they do. But, but we don't really follow the instructions, do we? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, we don't. All right. It says power on the board. So I went right to step three. I didn't plug it in yet, as you can see. Aha. So it says unlock your square off board, remove the black disc locked button placed at the bottom by rotating it anti-clockwise. Oh, so no wonder they tell us to download the app first because it'll tell us that we should have done that before we turned the pieces it over. on. That's right. All right, I'll just. This is going to be crazy. Okay. All right, can we do it? Yeah, let's see. Counterclockwise. I have it in hand. Wow. See, chess is a two person game. <laughs> it certainly is. It's an interesting lock that must uh, wow. hold the magnet down maybe so it doesn't uh, keep its position while it shifts. That's kind of smart. Okay. All right, you've unlocked it. Let's see. So it is now, we'll now try to connect here. I have to allow it detect my location. Beautiful board. I like that the look of that board. Yeah, it's like a uh, guitar, a guitar finish. Mm -hmm. Matte, nice matte finish. Embossed. There we go. Notation. There we go. Super, okay. super smooth. All right, what's going on? You even got a picture of it there. There we go, yeah, so it recognized my phone. It looks like it needs an update, so we'll go ahead and do that. Hmm. It's coming alive. Okay. Looks like it's going through an update right now. That's going pretty fast. That's great. Why don't we show them up closer what that looks like? Some error retrying. Here we go. Okay, and then it moved on. Welcome aboard. Your mobile has been connected with Square Off successfully. So then the uh, options available there are play with friends. We've got to give Square Off credit right here for making like the first app and electronic chess connected device. That's right. I mean, right. that is a win right there. Yeah, and that's, that's pretty seamless. Win. I would say, uh, compared to some other setups that I've seen before, this was pretty smooth. Yeah. Let's see if it plays as well as it sets up. Play as uh, black since we're on this side. Sure. Select level. Let's see. Looks like levels, they go up to 20. Why don't we let our friends see this? Why don't we just head over to the other side for a sec? And... Uh, so you can see what's happening on the app as we do this. There you go. So if we go back, looks like we selected uh, play as white or black. Then we have, well, select level right there. Two, three, I'm gonna go three, done. Play game. All right, we got a response already there. All right. We can hear the board. It's it's not very loud. It's you can tell that the board is has some internals that are moving. Yep. Yeah, recognize the uh, the move there. So that's great. Okay, Paul. I'm wondering if we can make a move on the board or on the app here. And I'm just going to try and see what happens if I make a move on the app or if I can do that. 
just wondering if that's possible. Getting a little bit of a sensory uh, move, uh, a haptic feel, but I don't see that it's... Uh, what are the other options here? What can we do with this app? So we can toggle back and forth here. Uh, this just looks like an informational screen. Uh, we can, it looks like this middle button, share an image or a photo, not really helpful much. And then uh, this one right here seems to uh, resign <laughs> the game, so. Okay. So. Uh, we'll make a move on the board in a moment, but I would love to be able to make the move here and see that reflected on the board. Absolutely. Just, just, that would be very intuitive. Yeah, so, for sure. Um, I will move over to the board. Paul will stay right there. And let's see what happens. I don't see that there was an update to the app here. Okay. Okay, so I just moved the pawn here and there was no response. So I, now I realize I probably need to press down. Yep. There we go. Yep, and there's the corresponding move. Check that out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. nice fluid motion. It's not too loud like you said, but you can definitely hear it. This is the smoothest automated machine I've ever seen. Now there's been an automated machine in the past. How would you say that? And you're aware of that. That was called the, the Grandmaster, right? There was a, there was a Novag unit and there was an Excalibur unit, the Excalibur Phantom. The For Phantom. example, the Novag Two Robot. Oh, this is in the way. But this is not even compar comparable. This is just far, far better. All right. Okay. Let's make another move here. Definitely a luxurious look and overall very smooth response on this. Yeah. And the, the fact that I have to press on the square and on the, uh, the destination square is fine. And it's actually not very much of a press. Very light, easy. It's pretty natural. I noticed the height of the uh, unit itself is actually not too bad. I was expecting it to be quite a bit taller from some of the... Uh, prototypes that they showed for this, but it looks like they made some good improvements. Yes, and it looks like we picked a rather novice level because the computer is um, playing a rather elementary game. Either that or it's trying to make us feel great about our first experience. Right, right. So, well, this is level know what kind of tricks they have here. Right, level three out of 20, right? <laughs> oh, there's many. How many levels? 20. Oh, great. I thought it was level three out of four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> As it was on the screen. Anyhow, we'll just take a look at a few different other, um, different aspects of this other than what we've seen so far. Wow. Smooth, huh? Very. Well, Paul is setting up the board. I'm showing where this adapter, the AC power source, would plug in on the side here, just a few inches around the front from the power button. I like that. I like how that power button looks. Okay. There we are. Now, how about the overall size? Right here we have 19 inches. And about two and an eighth inch. And our king height is Two and a half, Two and precisely. Half. What's the square size on that? Uh, good call. We have a square size of an inch and a half. All right, friends, we heard that we can also play against 
others who have the same sort of machine in their home and we're checking to see if this app shows other players online. What do we see here? Yeah, so let's see here. Oh wow, there's a couple there. Yep, somebody named Peter and uh, Anthony Rao. All so right. Let's see, Anthony has a photo there. Maybe we'll uh, give him a challenge. Let's challenge Anthony. All right. Do you want to play square off? Uh, as white. Yes. There you go. Okay. We have challenged Anthony Rao. Looks like he has two minutes. He has three minutes to respond to our challenge. I can just picture him scrambling to his desk. <laughs> Finally, a challenger! <laughs> Imagine if there's there's two right now. But these are just shipping, and so that's going to fill up as these get delivered. Oh, absolutely. You know, while you're there, I, we saw this in the package, and uh, it looks like a great thing to um, have some reading material next to your board. Maybe you want to have some puzzles up on that, uh, or a chocolate like this. So... Has he, has he uh, responded yet? Ah, uh, he's got two minutes left. No All challenge right, Anthony, yet. We're cheering you on. I mean, until <laughs> the game starts. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that uh, it, it might be a little bit of a challenge if you're not expecting a challenge. Maybe he's just got this app set up and uh, and He's probably getting those pieces in place real quick. Right, exactly. I wonder if he even knows that he's uh, available for a challenge, right? Because I didn't see anything in the app that said, yes, we're ready for a challenge, or no, we're not. So I yes. imagine maybe if the app's on? Yes. How about Harish? We oh. could try challenging Harish. Oh, oh no. No, he wasn't up for a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> He was, uh, I think he was, he was probably ready to play somebody else. All right. Come on, Anthony. You got Count one more down. minute. We got only just over a minute here. Uh, do you think we win something? <laughs> I don't know. Probably not. My guess is it's, uh, it just uh, expires the challenge. Anthony, this is yours if you accept this. A chocolate bar is in it for you. And this is good chocolate. It is. Is that the, uh, you'd have your choice of the milk chocolate or the dark chocolate. That's right. Oh, there's Harish again. I don't know, should we give Harish a chance? The, I think Let's that's one Anthony. of the two. He's got 30 seconds left. Yeah. You think? I think he's one of the developers. If I remember, I don't know, it sure seems... Uh, Seven, five, six, five, four. I think it's going to expire. He's not waiting to the last second. All oh, right, so. Anthony, if you um, let us know, we'll do a follow-up video with you once you um, uh, let us know you're ready and you have your coffee and you have your chessboard set up. Just um, let us know you're ready and we got to do this on video. Okay, should we try Peter? Let's see if Peter's available. Oh, well, well, Peter disappeared. We challenged and he disappeared. He still has time, though. It's it, you have a Samsung. It's that you need an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just got this. <laughs> I've had, I did have an iPhone before this. Though, I bet so. you we would see a whole lot more. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, this has been great so far. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see more players on there, but I'm sure that uh, availability, the online list will grow over the next few weeks. And, uh, but this has been fun. But what I have here is the instruction manual, well, card, and it's been kept simple, just six steps. What I see first here is the download Square Off app, which we learned is a great idea to download it first. Number two, connect the board to the charger, as you see here. Uh, number three, power on the board. Number four, open the app and connect board via Bluetooth. A single beep indicates successful connection. Then select mode and settings from the app to get started. And then this is key, just slightly uh, press the initial position of the piece until you hear a beep. Then second press the destination position until you hear a beep again.
So that's how you will start your square off and make your first move. And from first impressions, I'm finding that something as complex as an electronic machine like this is so far remarkably intuitive. And I have to hand it to Square Off for accomplishing that. Certainly.